35 NRCS workers from Vermont, Maine, New Hampshire, New York, Rhode Island, and Connecticut have been immersed in outdoor activities that will help them hone their skills in fish and wildlife management. It's been a great experience. Today's focus is on Save the Bay's ongoing eelgrass restoration project. If you want seafood, you need to have habitat. And these underwater plants are our, basically the nurseries for the fin fish and shellfish that we all love. In all, we'll be harvesting about 21,000 shoots over the next two days. Which is about how much of an acre? Um, it's about two acres. Um, so we'll be uh, planting it then off Prudence Island. Rhode Island is the host state because it's at the forefront of conservation. We've got the opportunity to teach the rest of the country on these kind of things and so that's why we're really honored to have this course here in Rhode Island is because we can showcase some of the new technologies and new things that we're doing as an agency. Now volunteers here have cast a big net and hauled in their catch so they can show the importance of eelgrass habitats. Everyone who lives near the coast can do their part to make sure the old grass can come back. And that's talking about reducing fertilizer use on your lawns, making sure your septic systems are pumped out, making sure that excessive nitrogen coming off of the landscape isn't making into our waterways. While improvements have been made with eelgrass restoration, there's still a long way to go, as these conservation employees have seen firsthand. I'm R.J. Heim with this week's NBC10 URI Watershed Report in Jamestown.